for some reason, I'm just drawn to you know, shooting stuff. I just enjoy it. It's fun for me. It'd be cool if that fish would show up again. Dave Thrush has seen a lot through that viewfinder. Well, I saw last year's the Evans flood. An amateur photographer, he's usually one of the first eyes on the scene of emergency. It's exciting, but at the same time, I, you know, it's scary for these people. He's had his hands full today. Yeah, it's a house on an island. The Poudre River is starting to gobble up the land near this home in Fort Collins. It's a little too close for comfort. And it'll be that close for at least a while. Experts at the U.S. Geological Survey say rivers across Colorado should hit their peaks in the middle of June. Yeah, it's scary. Normal timing for a season like this. What isn't normal is how high those peaks are. If it keeps adding on like this day by day, then two weeks might be too long. Scientists say heavy snowpack in the mountains means even after rivers hit their peak in a couple of weeks, they'll stay high for a while longer than normal. It doesn't look like usual. Here in Greeley, the Pooter has already sunk a popular intersection, prompting road closures and voluntary evacuations in some places. A reminder that Mother Nature's beauty can be two-faced. You know, you go up and you look in Estes Park and it's like incredible. And then you see this and it's like, wow, nature is powerful at the same time. Keeping this photographer on his toes. Is there a fire over there? Well, I guess I'll go over there and take a look. Holy crap. <laughs> All kinds of stuff going on today, huh? Wow. Crazy day, man.